He is known for helping others, but today he was asking for help. At least somebody wanted it to look that way. People all over the place got an email from KSL investigator Matt Gephardt today. But Matt, I know you did not send this one. <laughs> No, Mike, it sure as heck did not come from me, but somebody worked really hard to make it seem that way. I have been reporting on scammers and their flim flams for years, but to my knowledge, this is the first time they've ever tried to use my name to rip people off. Identity thieves have been known to impersonate the Internal Revenue Service. They've posed as cops and courts trying to strong arm unsuspecting victims into sending money. Hello, I need a favor from you. Email These criminals addresses. have also been known to impersonate far less important people. Today, many folks got this email from none other than... Matt Gephardt, KSL consumer investigative reporter. Well, that's me, but I can tell you I didn't send it. I can also tell you it was received by folks all over the country, many I don't know, some that I do, including a few of my colleagues here at KSL. I got an email from Matt today saying that it's really important and to write back as soon as I can. Take a look. The crook spoofed their email address to make it look like it was coming from me. KSL anchor Lori Pritchard played along and received an email back asking that she go buy a bunch of gift cards and send them to the impersonator. But what was unusual was how quickly it went from being almost work-related to personal in nature. Identity theft is certainly nothing new. In fact, impersonator scams were the number one scam in the U.S. last year. In February, FBI Special Agent Jeffrey Collins told me folks need to be on their guard because crooks love to use relationships to social engineer their victims. That person that you believe is located here locally could be a fraudster overseas or somewhere else trying to trick you. Who is the criminal? I don't know. He or she wouldn't write me back. And, you know, uh, we did also uh, uh, reach out to the law enforcement who tells us most of these people are located overseas in Africa out of the reach of American law enforcement. Mike? So, Matt, do you still want the gift cards I got you or what? There goes my retirement plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great story. Matt, thank you.